It's that time of the month again. Sony have revealed the PlayStation Plus lineup for February 2017. Six games are here for you to try this month, which will be available to download from Tuesday, February the 7th. Both Vita games are accessible on PS3 and PS4, so please stick around even if you don't have a Vita. We have a really strange bunch of games for you this month, so as always, let's check out the PS4 releases first. Little Big Planet 3 heads up the month on PS4 and follows in the footsteps of the super enjoyable original. Sadly, the development team behind the original, Media Molecule, have been replaced by Sumo Digital, who seem to have missed the nuances that make the series so renowned. But what they lack in originality, they make up for in sheer scope and story too. The narrative is suitable for the whole family and there are many references to film and video games. At its heart, this is a platformer, but the controls will annoy you regularly. But if you need a hit of Sackboy for nostalgia purposes, or you never really played a Little Big Planet game, give this one a go. Current Metacritic score 79%. Not a Hero is the PS4's indie title which embraces retro graphics and colours. You play as Rabbit Bunny Lord, who has travelled back in time from the year 2048 to be elected mayor and save the world from an alien invasion. Yep, this is one messed up game which does not take itself seriously in the slightest. It's a 2D cover shooter with 84 challenges to uncover. Metacritic has this one at 74%. Before we jump over to the PS3, please do us a favour and subscribe to help us reach more people. We are a small channel, but we have big ambitions, so please help us out. Right, let's get back to more free games. The first title on PS3 is also available on PS4 and goes by the name Star Wall. Ok, so I know what you're going to say, this looks terrible. Well, it may not look great to many people, it is surprisingly good when you get your friends round to play. You play as one of four narwhals, also known as the Unicorn of the Sea, and that bit's quite important, because the weapon of choice is the horn on your head. Pierce your friends through their narwhal heart and be victorious. Go on, give it a go. Next up is Anna, the extended edition on PS3. This is a psychological horror game released in 2012, and it's also set in a sawmill. Think of this game like a poor man's Resident Evil 7, and you're halfway there. For a 2012 game, it has aged remarkably well, and the story is linked to amnesia, so new information pops up regularly and makes you rethink your actions. Steam users gave this one 6 out of 10. The hidden gem that is the Vita has two further games for us this month, and both of these titles are playable on PS4 and PS3. First up is Ninja Senki DX, a platformer in the style of Mega Man. It's a typical boy meets girl, girl gets killed by a demon, boy vows revenge. What you see is definitely what you get with this one, so what do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. And finally, yet another cross by title in the shape of Talk L, or Talkle. Not sure about that one. What the heck can I say about this one? You know what? I'm not going to say anything and just let you take in those fine, fine graphics. <laughs> so we've started off strong, but things went a little bit downhill on this month's PS Plus. What will you be picking up? Please complain to Sony in the comments below. They won't read them, by the way. I'm going to pick up Little Big Planet 3, and I'm actually looking forward to playing Star Wall. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. I'll see you next time.